हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स क्लास थ्री सब्जेक्ट मैथ्स चैप्टर नंबर एट मेजरमेंट टुडे वी विल लर्न टू अरेंज द ऑब्जेक्ट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर कैपेसिटी दिस इज अ ड्रॉपर इन माय हैंड सम मेडिसिन आर आल्सो टेकन विद दिस ड्रॉपर लेट्स काउंट हाउ मेनी ड्रॉप्स ऑफ वाटर दिस ड्रॉपर कंटेन्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स ड्रॉप्स ऑफ वाटर दिस ड्रॉपर कंटेन्स लेट्स चेक हाउ मेनी ड्रॉप्स ऑफ वाटर आर देयर इन दिस सरेंज दिस सरेंज कंटेन्स मोर वाटर देन द ड्रॉपर नाउ वी विल चेक हाउ मच वाटर दिस स्पून कंटेन्स वी हैव पुट two syringes of water in the spoon this is the third syringe of water in the spoon now we put the fourth syringe of water in the spoon this spoon contains four syringes of water now we will fill this bowl with water with the help of this spoon 1 2 3 four we have checked this bowl contains 20 spoons of water in it let's check how much water this glass contains one bowl of water this is second bowl of water this glass contains two bowls of water let's check how much water does this mug contain we will put one glass of water in it now we are putting second glass of water in it this mug contains two glasses of water we have learnt that water occupies the shape of the object in which it is poured the quantity of the liquid which is poured in these various objects that is the capacity of these different objects arrange these objects in ascending order according to their capacity we have seen among all these objects the dropper contains the least amount of water so number 1 is for dropper syringe contains more water than the dropper so second number is for syringe after syringe third number is for spoon bowl contains more water than spoon so fourth number is for bowl the capacity of glass is more than the bowl so on fifth number the glass mug contains two glasses of water so the sixth number is for mug we have learned smaller objects have less capacity and bigger objects have more capacity In your homework, dear children, you will do the activity given on page number one hundred and seventy-four of your maths book. In this activity, you will take one mug of water. You have to compare the capacity of these different objects with the capacity of mug. Then you will classify them as more capacity or less capacity compared to the. capacity of mug